Dual Blades are a very aggressive weapon class. It is similar to Sword and Shield where you can attack and roll away very quickly, making repositioning and hit and run tactics very effective. However, Dual Blades forgoes the inclusion of a shield and just gives you a second sword. Just like Sword and Shield, each individual attack is relatively weak, but a full combo, especially with elemental damage or status ailments, will really add up. You have more mobility and can roll out of attacks faster than most classes. You get a special demon mode that will enhance your attacks and unlock some moves. It will drain your stamina while active. Attacking in demon mode will charge up a special arch demon gauge which will unlock and enhance even more of your moveset while outside of demon mode. There are dual blades with all elements and status ailments except for paralysis and sleep. There is a special attack that will lock you into a long combo, giving you a great option for when the monster is down or you get an opening, though I recommend you not hyper fixate on this special move and only use it when it's smart to do so. All attacks with the dual blades do cutting damage. There's a special raw modifier of 1.15 times when in demon mode. Dual blades may be a little difficult to start the game with, but that can be said about all of the weapons. Stick with it if it appeals to you. It is very cool. That being said, I also encourage you to experiment. If dual blades isn't working for you, pick a different weapon. There are 12 weapon classes to choose from, 9 melee and 3 ranged. Try them all. I won't be going into many advanced mechanics or calculations in this video. This will be more for a beginner and maybe some intermediate knowledge. The weapon and armory I'll be using can all be bought from the equipment shop, next to the smithy across from the item shop. Let's go over the attacks first, and then I'll talk through a hunt with Great Jaggy. Motion values, or MV, will be displayed up here and are the damage of that attack. Higher MVs mean a harder hitting attack.
remember to take useful items from the blue box. Great Jackie should spawn in Area 5. We can get there through the shortcut to Area 7. Dual Blades are one of the Stamina Reliant weapon classes. Make sure you use the rations. Remember to paintball the monster, just in case you lose it later on. If you're having trouble fighting Great Jaggy with all of the small monsters around, consider taking them out first. Stamina management in demon mode can be tricky, but try and get into archdemon mode and stay in it as much as you can. When low in stamina and demon mode, remember that you can disable it early by pressing R. When you can't roll to animation cancel, try doing this instead. While in demon mode, you won't be knocked around by light attacks. You can use this to tank and trade damage, but do it carefully. If you use dual blades, you'll also need to deal with sharpness problems. I recommend bringing flash bombs to make time or leaving the area. Armor skills that help manage sharpness are good as well. Same goes for stamina. Remember that disabling demon mode will leave you vulnerable for a second. If you're not sure you can do it safely, consider just letting your stamina run out. You can't use the Butterfly Slash in Demon Mode, so being in Arch Demon Mode is somewhat more mobile. Use this to your advantage.
And there you go. Remember to be patient. Don't rush into things. It's easy to overextend and get hit out of your combos. I recommend you hunt Great Jaggy a few times and make his full armor set, and upgrade your Yukimo Slicers into either the Jaggy Shotel or the Twin Daggers. That will be arguably the best weapon in armor at this point of the game and will set you up for success. The Jaggy Shotel can be upgraded into either the best water or best thunder dual blades, where the Twin Daggers can be upgraded into one of the highest raw damage dual blades. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. If you like how dual blades play or look, but you keep getting hit, just stick with it. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Until next time.